Good day, everyone, and welcome to National South 20 Day 2 for the Adults and Slummers. And for fun one game, one we have my SES vs. Special World. Special World will be starting off the turn with uh, Sage Observatory and then uh, King Long. There's Roshi, Sage on field with a Malicious, a Disingenuous Malicious on the field for the Synchro and Exit Space. Summoning Ultima Assault King to then activate the effect of uh, Hime. Sending, I presume it was. Uh, Jim Long to then send a Shuan Wu. Setting a card to summon Crystal Wing by the effect of Zulkin and he has Kaolun to play Sushi face up not to you. So let's charge Warrior with Secret Summon. Draw a card. And he has uh, Hime on the field. Uh, being reborn by Xuan Wu. To go into Pasha World to be Shen Shen. And faster with my sense starting off with Terraforming to serve Battle Ocean. The really important field spell. And with no more summoning, no more summoning a Mind Sassy Horse, which immediately gets popped by a Chuchi, and he has <laughs> Mystic Mind. But at least they do have Chuchi to pop it on the field, so. Unless he does not have enough resources. The Pad of Zaya is being activated. Draw 2 of the Banishing Pen. And proceed to activate Kaolun to then this Ki Ching Long and here's uh, Chu Shape of the Mystic Mind. To then place someone uh, Hime. Attacking for some damage. Just not enough for Lisa. But it is just enough for a scoop uh, from Marisa's player. And now game 2 we have uh, Marisa starting off with a Pascalus. No effect. To then link someone into Blue Slug. Blue Slug will be uh, targeting the Pascalus to reborn, and then he has a uh, Sea Slug searching the. Uh, sorry, Sea Angel searching, searching the Fatal Ocean. Left his spell. To then going to Coral Anemone. Reborning uh, Splash Mage, and he has Fatal Ocean deactivated to then go to Upper Arconaut, one of their new League Masters uh, that uh, really pushed up our SST to. Somewhat uh, tier 2 rock uh, competitively, equipping 3 Marisa Spencers from the grave. And faster with a second on field. Bashar will be starting off with a chain long. To then activate my Hime, but it's get, it gets ashed. Yeah, part of desires. Maybe it comes in clutch. Emergency teleport. It did a summon in Hime. So no more summon my Hime, and then a synchro summon for a Coral Dragon. The Aqua Gunner negates only spell trap cards, but he has a finance on the Coral Dragon. And we have Destiny Hero Malicious being summoned. Ching Malish, I think we'll be banishing a virtual card to then negate, to try and negate Aqua Gunner. But the will chain Aqua Gunner to negate a Ching Malish. Summon to be at risk, but then uh, my recording just stopped uh, right there for the right reason. So we don't really see the end of this game. But uh, continuing on, we have Brandon Spear versus Evil Twins. And uh, so Brandon Spear is going with uh, an opening Ramatoj and uh, Alba field on the field, but no fusions really because of Fagoila. So Evil Twins is starting off with a rank 2 going to Sky Cavalry. Attacking uh, for just to make Zeus and then send everything on field, yeah. And he has already well trying to be summoned, but we have impermanence, pretty snow with chain, so that the Alibaba resolves. Snow will try to flip it, uh, put the Zeus face down, which resolves, I think. And he has Brother Fusion being activated, starting off the entire line of Despia, sending Albas and Brad, sorry, which one was it? Tragedy to go into the Beyond. And that's it! <laughs> so he has Evil Twin popping off with uh, Kisikal Nila to then pop the Lupalion field, go into Trouble Sunny to then go into Lila and Kisikil once more to go through Trouble Sunny, <laughs> attacking for a huge chunk of damage. But just not enough, uh, Alibaba will be summoned. And he has a super polarization to go into Albion or Masquerade. Well, Albion needs an Albaz, but not uh, a Gaspian Master. Setting a card and Boston. And here's Shovel Sunny 
going to send the masquerade. Now we have Sunny Snitch adding uh, a live twin Lila to then going to Frost, I think it was, being summoned. Now we have Fairy Tail Snow trying to summon his castle back, but that's a scoop uh, from the Pandas player. <laughs> Because of just too many resources and the gates. And we have game 2, Evil Twin going even imashed. And then we face 2, the uh, usual lineups. Evil, uh, Evil Twin is like popping the Edge Chain, was it? At, which shatters Refract by Patchwork. And here, Shabba Sunny, Sunny Snitch, Seneca, then Boston. And this player not really in good position, just setting a back row and a master gets popped immediately by the evil, evil twin leader. Cross Koto coming summoned to reborn <laughs> the early masters. And uh, seems like that's just uh, really enough for the evil twin player. And now we have Brandon Blue versus Four Rocks. Yes, <laughs> you heard it right, Four Rocks. Um, Brandon Blue has been starting off with a wise of uh, ancient, well, sort of legends, Nick Rebo and Nick Leisure, and here is uh, Blue Eyes Chat. First, let me check if it is really as ancient at all in the chance. Uh, starting off with uh, extravagance to go into Duster, but they have that red blue eyes set dragon which protects all of the Dark Rose from being destroyed by card effects. Morak Mount terraforming to Morak Mountain to search for Tia to then go into Meteor Dragon in the battle phase, of course. And it seems like uh, a bunch of battling occurs <laughs> with a bunch of attack modulations. Attacking only Kuribo and the Blue Eyes and also Ecclesia. And here is the Quartier Punishment during the end phase. Sending Albion to pop the Fortia. Triggering Albion in a seven phase to search for the fusion. But they cannot summon from the extra deck because of the Quartier Punishment for this turn. So here is Big Russian Go. To go into the. Oh, I have to check his name right now. Just to make sure I'm confusing. It's one sort of enchants. The boss of enchants. So here's Nick Rubo and Blue Eyes White Dragon on the field. Activating another War Rock Mountain to search another Fortia. No more summon Fortia and in battle phase, War Rock Mountain summoning Basilius. Attacking over Nick Rubo. Gaining some attack. To attack over the Blue Eyes White Dragon. And here is Blue Eyes Jet being activated. But it gets immediately battled over, run over by the Warrocks. Uh, because of brute force from the battling damage. And here is uh, Warrock Dignity negating the effect of Albaz. I think. And it's better fusion. Anyways, sending Albaz and a Western of Enchants to go into Albion. The effect of Albion to banish both Albion and Albaz to go into Mirajid. Mirajid will be activating this effect immediately, sending Titanic Blood to punish the Meteoragon. And he has a Warrock, uh, I think, Generations, was it? Which, uh, when a Warrock leaves a field, destroys two corner field. Blue Eyes Dragon returns back, and True Light is sending Blue Eyes White Dragon, attacking over the Warrocks. Uh, and he has Bashirius, being summoned. Uh, and face uh, both triggers of Albion and uh, Tanklad. Searching, I think, for the recent uh, battle fusion. Warrock will be starting off with something. <laughs> They're really thinking about it. Seven Cloud and Boston. This is the generation that the uh, card that they activated to destroy the cause was uh, Big Blue. So generation will be summoning from deck, I think. Okay, world master. To summon Meteor Ragon. Attacking over the uh, Albas. And... Uh, right, there's some two cards. Uh, they activated the card that is set uh, in the previous turns. And Boston and here's Ultimate uh, Fusion going to blow a star at uh, Dragon to then I think we just pop the War of Mountain and Battle Fusion to go into Lubelion sending Keeper discarding Blue Eyes to then go into Mirage it. Punishing Team Dragon battling for a huge chunk of damage which is lethal damage uh, 
for Bad Blue Eyes winning the game 1. And game 2, Warlock is starting with extravagance, vanishing 6 to draw 2. To then go into reinforcement of the army, searching both here, and Warlock Mountain will be searching uh, Gactus. Activate medium of the uh, Warlock. Warlock medium. Net medium of the Aspire. It's a different code. This uh, setting Warlock uh, big blue. And he has uh, 4 10 Gactus on the field. Setting Cone and Power Stun. He has Foolish Bell in a blue eyes player stun. Setting a chance. And he has Keeper Dragon Magic. Uh, discarding Blue Eyes by Dragon. Trying to search Grand Fusion. But he has Dignity. Negating the effect of Keeper. Revealing Tyrant. Uh, to summon back the Blue Eyes by Dragon. That was in the grave. Infuse on defense position and Enfuse, Ancient with summoning the Jet Dragon from the deck. And now the Warlock is activating a second Warlock Mountain. To I think uh, add the uh, Meteor Dragon, summoning the same Meteor Dragon in the battle phase uh, to then possibly yeah, attack over Keeper Dragon Magic. Fortia will be searching. Bashilius. They are taking over the set blue as my dragon. Setting card and power stun. Oh, another card. That's yes, true, right? He activated the phase to set the uh, ultimate fusion. In the main phase, he will be going for keeper dragon magic, but he has uh, imponence. Kaiju on the meteor dragon, and he has uh, blue eyes tyrant with the ultimate fusion. Big will be activated to destroy the chat, I think. Trying to attack over the Fortia, but he has a Bashilus. And still got to attack over the Gactus, which is just enough for little damage. Not a little damage, but to win in time. And now we have a Respia versus a Little Astral Brigade. The Little Astral Brigade will be starting off with a Hit Factor, Kit, uh, Sun Level, but gets ashed. And he has another Summon Level to then go into Bear Broom. And now finally the camera focuses, thank you. <laughs> Going to Appaloosa with uh, 3 Mustang Negates and Pasta and Manistra is starting off with a battle opening, sending Cross of Designator to then uh, maybe summon Aluba. Oh, they already have the Aluba in hand, never mind, they're going to Aluba to then uh, uh, would have searched something, but he has uh, uh, Appaloosa negating it. Because we cyclone will chain on the revolt, uh, but he has a acti revolt being activated. He chain, sorry. To go into Shurek, banishing uh, the Aluba. And he has Nova Summon Albas, uh, battling over the Appaloosa. And Pasta. Nova Summon Kit, going to Brugal. To then go to Access Kotoka, and that's the end of the game for game 1. Game 2, Brandis is starting off with Aluba. He has Brandis Fusion, sending Tragedy and Albas. To then go to Libyan, discarding polymerization. <laughs> to go to Mirajid. Crochetti also did search uh, at Libitum. And he has Blood Call. Uh, after the three set cards on the field, he has Blood Call. The seven top calls for blue and uh, Sapphire Swallow, but Mirajid sends the Albion to banish the Sapphire Swallow. Sorry, the Cover Sparrow. Uh, yeah, I do, I do always confuse these two. It's Cobra Sparrow, that's uh, the brown one, and Sparrow Sparrow, the blue one. So, here's has Diddy Crow being sent to Grave 2, I think, summon... Oh, something... Uh, banishing from Battle Red, right, sorry. So, summoning Naval by the Sparrow Sparrow, and he has Fairy Jeep, which gets him in the And he has Bear Broom. Fairy Jeep will trigger into draw one, and put one up the deck. And we have Kit being summoned. To then go into double dragon loads. And link summon into Rugal. Ah, trigger the effect of uh, Kit sending rendezvous and uh, the broom searching level. Battling over the Aliba. Setting a card and pass turn. And Pierce Albion be activate triggering its effect. Uh, activating its effect to a search point of fusion. And he has <laughs> one more Aliba. Searching this time. Uh, the theater. But the fusion is sending Albas and a Dark Master Effect for Strategy. Tragedy, uh, not Tragedy. To then go to Lubelion and he has Dramaturge uh, being searched by Tragedy. Then to get the effect of Li Resolve the effect of Lubelion. Going to Dragon Stapelia. Activate the theater. 
which probably gets engaged. Uh, sorry, no, we won't get engaged by the Blue, but instead gets banished by the Revolt. Or oh, so we would have thought. But he has qualities. Uh, Alright, the Gustav Hilliard, of course. Uh, and he has qualities being summoned by the theater. But that will be activated. To banish shield, you're going to Golden Camera. And he has Dramatage being summoned. Popping maybe the entire board. Rugal will be. <laughs> just in vain, uh, reducing the attack. Popping both Shrek and Double Dragon Lord. And Shrek will be active adding uh, the Cross for Blue, but that's just already lethal damage. And game 3, we have uh, Nova Summon Kit to turn going to Almirage. Kit will be sending Nova to add. Uh, I think it was Keras. Gasping Summon. And here's Rugal. Adding. Revolt, I think. And here's Anti Spell Fragrance. They'll be chaining by the opening. To then going to Dramaturge. The Master of Naluba. Search by the Dread. But with no spell cards that can be acti activating, they are just going to set for one past turn. And there's a revolt to Shurik. Shurik banishing uh, maybe a back row master. I'll keep me sending rendezvous, and he has another searching and gate master. Oh, nothing vanished. He has Fractal being uh, no master. But it would have been activated, but at this spell prevents. Uh, until the end of the next turn that they were set, so not even this turn they get activated. He has Hersberg and Axel Cold Talker. Banishing Alirash to pop the Dramaturge, and that's just uh, already GG scoop 